Thursday, 26-year-old Mohammed Daoud was arrested in the library here at Carleton University. It happened after he was identified by a young woman who said that he had groped her in an elevator. Now, it turned out after investigation here by Carleton University security officials and Ottawa police that the man has been charged with two additional sexual assaults. That's a grand total of three, and he appeared in Ottawa court today for a bail hearing. It's created a bit of concern here at the campus where word is starting to spread about the charges. It makes me feel like not very safe around here. Yeah? Yeah. Um, it's upsetting, but I mean, it happens like often around, so like it's not like a surprise, but it is upsetting to hear about something like that happening on this campus when we were not aware of it. Right. Yeah, yeah. it's only been like a week. <laughs> People here on campus who are experts in sexual assault say this type of sexual assault is really unusual. It's quite rare. They say it's far more common for women to be assaulted here on campus by someone that they know in a situation. In fact, they just launched a campaign about it a few days ago. People are more, more likely to experience sexual violence as uh, a student at home mm -hmm. uh, with someone they know in a car or a basement. The likelihood that a stranger will sexually assault someone is less than someone that is known to you or possibly even within your own home. Okay. So we should feel comfortable moving through public spaces and challenging that attitude that it is a fearful city to live in and feel confident and assertive in our right to claim our space, um, knowing that also most people, if they're going to have that kind of experience, um, they can't do much to prevent it, they can't anticipate it, mm -hmm. and um, it's just sad that it happens at all. This is the first week of classes here at Carleton University. In fact, for many of the first year students, their first classes would have been on Thursday, the day of the arrest. So it's very important to them to try to keep the positive mood going. They don't want to let an incident like this spoil their week, their month, or the rest of their year. Oh, by people coming forward and saying something, that's great. By having things like the uh, Sexual Assault Support Center and uh, the Grad Students Association that will do counseling and support work by having campaigns where we can talk about sexual violence and ways that we can all create a safer space. Those are all things that will help push back against this culture that is permissive towards sexual violence. In Ottawa, Doug Hempstead for Sun News.